Aaliyah was on her way to do a record with y'all, right? The same day of the plane crash? Yeah. Yo, we was waiting for Aaliyah to come through. When that happened, we was in Miami recording in the Circle House. Think Aaliyah was going to do something on Rock the Mic. Yeah, if I, if my memory served me correct. She was going to do something on Rock the Mic. And uh, yeah, we got that call. Yeah, that's when she was added to Miami. Wow, man. So she was about to be on the remix or the original song? I can't remember which one. But it might have been original because that's where we recorded the original at, at Circle House. How did that record come about? We was, uh, like I said, we was in Circle House working on different projects. And uh, Free had actually grabbed the beat from Just Blaze. I was in another room recording. And Free laid a verse. And he called me and was like, yo, I got this record. You should hear this joint. This joint crazy. I came and I listened to it. It was hot. But then I went out, went to back to what I was doing in another room. That friend, my brother came to the uh to this to the room I was in uh writing. My brother was like, yo, you need to come get on this record. Listen to it again. Came in, listened to it. Then we just rocked out on that joint. Yeah, that joint a classic. Do it again. How did that record come about? I mean, J verse on that man it was insane, yo. Oh, we did do it again. Uh, I know Rock while I had bought a CD to the studio. He had like maybe eight, nine beats at most. I don't even think it was that. It was like seven, and out of those seven, uh, five of them joints was picked between Rockefeller. Uh, well, between me. I think Ray and Meth grabbed two of them. And them joints was out. Them joints was people's singles. So when I had picked to do it again, Rocket, I had got that from him. I did my verse on there. I did a verse on there. And I started recording other records. So I just set that to the side. I ain't touch it. Jay was like, yo, what you want to do with that? I was like, yo, I'll get to it. And I came to the studio one day. Jay had a verse on it. I was hyped. It was his first single. Whatever happened to Emil? She was on that record, right? Emil, yeah, Emil was on the hook. Emil was on the hook. I don't know. I don't know uh, what happened to Emil. Like, far as her being dropped from the label, I don't know the reasons or none of that, but I just know at that time, things was moving fast. You had to keep up. So I don't know if she couldn't keep up with the bros lyrically or what the situation was.